Loyal subjects, Her Majesty, Queen Gavalia. <sighs> Hello designers, illustrators, design enthusiasts, and welcome to Small Town Creative. What would it look like if these two major coffee companies decided to redesign their logos using the branding elements of their competitors? We're gonna find out right now on this episode of Logo Face Swap. First up, we're gonna redesign the Starbucks logo using Gavalia's toolbox. Let's litter the landscape with assets and inspiration. I'm looking for an elegant serif font. Here we go, Classica. For coffee, we're using titling Gothic FB. What does the FB stand for? This is just a placeholder for the crown I'll build in a minute. All right. I'm gonna have to get surgical to match the razor sharp serifs of this font to this one. Okay, let's do the T now. Hopefully I won't spill any. I'm gonna copy this side of the T over to this side to make my life easier. Lop off the original. I'll just finish off this T and then speed through the rest of the type to avoid being too monotonous. Here's a look at how it turned out. Pretty boss, I would say. Now let's make this crown. I'm gonna take this sketch, revise it on my light pad. You can see I only drew the left half. Illustrator will help me do the rest. I've been thinking about doing a training on preparing sketches like this for digital illustration. Let me know in the comments if you think this would benefit you. I'm creating this series of circles to use the Pathfinder panel to cut out the shapes I want. I'll select these two and then click minus front. Do the same for these two. This circle I'll end up using later. Let's join these two shapes and split them right here. Now let's do the star and reflect these two shapes. You're gonna see how much I love using the reflect tool in this video. This shape's gonna help me make the little triangle under the star. Okay, this looks a little too heavy for me compared to the type, so I'm gonna poke some holes in it. First I'll recreate this first crescent shape. Then I'll do a reverse offset path Fill it in with white. I'll do that exact same process over here. Okay, I'll slice off the bottom of these and copy it over using Reflect. These two circles are going to help me build the final piece. That's close, but it needs a little more character. Okay, I love that. Final adjustments to the composition. Now to match the color. Yeah. You can almost smell how good this is gonna taste. Okay, let's give the Gavalia logo a Starbucks look and feel. I'll start this one off with the iconic symbol of Starbucks, the siren. Again, I'm bringing in a revised sketch Let's delete all these unnecessary parts. I'll start building her arm. Okay, get rid of these. Select all these. And, and we'll reflect from one side to the other. Okay. Let's bring down Queen Gavalia's crown. We'll conform it to the dome of her head. More adjustments to the eyes. Loyal subjects, Her Majesty, Queen Gavalia. All right, now for the word mark. I found the Starbucks font on famefonts.com. We're gonna center it. Scale it up, fix the spacing. Now let's duplicate this for the bottom portion. I'm 
All right, this is really coming together. I'm gonna use this little football shape that I got from the crown to create a pattern brush. Draw a circle, apply the brush. Black background and, oh, doesn't that just beckon to you? These for sure are going to fly off the shelves. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed swapping logo faces with me. I've also been considering doing a series where I redesign your logos. So if you have one you want to submit, I'll put something in the description that allows you to get it to me, whether it be an email or a form or something. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you want to be part of my tribe, please click subscribe. If you like this video, do click that thumbs up button. Click the bell for notifications. And always remember on your creative journey and in your personal life to question everything and stop at nothing. See you next time.